final leg back here for another recap this time we're moving from the United Kingdom down to the United States we were in Albuquerque New Mexico for the USATF track and field indoor championships great high quality performances starting things off we had that men's 60 meter dash Christian Coleman he managed to get a very comfortable win over the rest of the field 6.37 seconds not only a season's best he was opening his season here that's also equal number two all time in the 60 meter dash the only faster time is his world record of 6.34 seconds from 2018 so really great performance in addition he kind of stumbled at his start coming out of the block so he potentially likely would have broken the world record if he was clean all the way through but this shows it's he's gonna have a great 2020 season he's coming off the world championship win in Doha last year and he's probably the clear favorite going into the Tokyo Olympics this year so keep a lookout for Christian Coleman in that 100 meters now moving over to the field we had Ryan Krauser he also got out to a massive performance of 22.60 meters huge huge performance world lead season's best personal best also it moves him to number two all time in the shot put indoors only six centimeters away from the world record which was set all the way back in the 1980s by Randy Barnes so Ryan Krauser moving into some rare territory we saw him get the silver medal last year in Doha throwing 22.90 meters in that great shot put competition this is going to bode well he won the gold medal at the Rio Olympics in 2016 he's definitely going to be going for a defense of his Olympic title in Tokyo this year so keep a lookout for Krauser. Heading back to the 60 meter dash this time on the women's side we had a great duel between Makaya Briscoe and Javian Oliver. Oliver had run 7.04 seconds in the semis which was a world leading performance by a huge margin but in the finals it came out to be Makaya Briscoe. She managed to get the win equaling that world lead of 7.04 seconds. Oliver was not too far behind she ran 7.08 seconds so both these ladies surpassing the previous world lead and now holding the equal world lead in the 60 meter dash so really strong performances by these young ladies hopefully going to translate to the 100 meters outdoors back in the field but this time in the women's triple jump we had a great duel between Katora Orji and Tori Franklin Franklin was coming in as the American record holder in the triple jump but Katora Orji managed to snatch the record away from her in the second round jumping a best of 14.60 meters great performance which made her number two in the world this year but Franklin was not done in that sixth round she managed to get out to a huge jump 14.64 meters retaking the American record that Orgy took from her getting now moving into number two for the world this year both these ladies number two and number three respectively only behind Yulamar Rojas of Venezuela so again Tori Franklin getting the American record 14.64 meters number two in the world Katora Orgy 14.60 meters number three in the world heading up to the women's 400 meters we had Wadlin Jonathan in the heats on day one she managed to run a world leading performance of 51.32 seconds she came back for day two but in the second heat of that 400 meters she had a lot of competition she unfortunately didn't get the pole position and had to run almost the whole way in lane two she still came away with the win 51.54 seconds so very strong performances on both days for her this really shows the consistency that she's coming off the 2019 season with definitely going to be translating into the 2020 olympic outdoor season so keep a lookout for jonathan back onto the field we had chase ely in that women's shot put she got out to a 2020 world leading performance of 18.99 meters very very strong season's best and world lead for her in 2019 she didn't get a medal but she was the second best performer outdoors in the shot put only behind gong from china so hopefully this indoor performance is going to translate to the outdoor shot put so we'll look out for ely now we have to talk about shelby Houlihan. she attempted the 3,500 meter double here in the usatf championships and she came out successful first on day one that 3,000 meters she got the win 8 minutes 53.03 seconds very commanding win over the rest of the field then in the 1500 meters on day two came back managed to run 4 minutes 6.41 seconds so really strong performances for her she said she wants to potentially try for the 15 5000 double outdoors and this is definitely some good prep for it so keep a lookout for Houlihan back at the jumps but this time in the women's long jump we had Quanisha Burks who's been very consistent over the past couple seasons she managed to get out to a season's best of 6.7 six meters grabbing that long jump win makes her number four in the world for 2020 so really great performance she also doubled in the 60 meters where she got fifth in the final running 7.20 seconds so really strong performances from her both in the long jump getting that win and in the 60 meters getting fifth place still in the pit this time on the men's triple jump we had donald scott he's been also very consistent got sixth place at the doha world championships last year here in albuquerque though he managed to get the win 17.24 meters 
Really great performance. Only second in 2020 behind Hugh Tobias Vizango. So definitely really strong performance. He's going to be going for a spot on the American Olympic team this time to Tokyo. Let's finish things off on the track. In that men's 400 meters, we had Clark. He managed to get the win from the first section of the final. 45.86 seconds. A season's best and an indoor personal best for him. Makes him number four in the world for 2020. So great performance. Not really high quality that we had at this indoor meet for the 400 meters, but this bodes well for his potential going into the outdoor season. So we'll keep a lookout for Clark. All right, so those are just some of the results that went down at the USA Indoor Championships. Definitely check out some of the other results. We have Ajay Wilson, Bryce Hopple in the 800 meters, Sandy Morris in that women's pole vault. So make sure you guys check the description. I left the link for the full results there. Go in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite performance was from these indoor championships for the United States. All right, make sure you also check out the last video I did of the Glasgow indoor meeting that went down in the United Kingdom. We saw Mondo Duplantis break that world record in the pole vault. So definitely check that out. All right, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again tomorrow to bring you guys the recap of the rest of the results from NCAA and also from around the world. All right, so keep tuning in and we'll be back again very soon. Thanks.